What's up everybody? Scott here. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. I'm doing really well actually because today I'm checking out the Earthquaker Devices plumes. Before I get into it, if you're new here and this is your first time dropping into my channel, thanks for coming. My name is Scott Bino and here on YouTube I like all things guitars. So if you like videos about demos, shootouts, tutorials, reviews, things like that, You'll probably dig this channel, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, as always, thank you so much for the support and thank you for coming back. First, I'm going to play a quick demo song so you can hear how this sounds in a mix. I'll be using it as a boost in mode one in front of an already overdriven amp. I will be using my 1993 PRS Custom 22 Gold Top. That will be going into the plumes into a TC Electronics Sentry noise gate, and that will be going into a PV5150 block letter. After that, I'll do some isolated guitar so you can hear how this pedal sounds. I'll demo it a bit by tweaking the knobs, going between the different modes. I'll put it in front of the clean channel of the 5150 so you can hear how it sounds as a traditional overdrive to break up that clean. And then I'll also use it as a boost in front of the overdrive channel so you can hear how that sounds. When that's all done, I'll come back, I'll give you my final thoughts, and that will be it. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to shut up now because I want you to hear how this pedal sounds. Full disclosure, I wasn't planning on making a video about this pedal today, but after plugging it in and just sort of getting my first impressions, I felt compelled to share them with you. This pedal is seriously incredible. There's a lot of hype about this pedal. There's a lot of videos about the plume. So yeah, here you go. Another video about plumes. Way to go, Scott. So at first glance, it's your standard green overdrive pedal. You know, that Tube Screamer clone type pedal. It's got your level, your gain and your tone but it's got a bit of a twist. It's got a little switch up here, which has three distinct clipping modes. Honestly, the switch is a lot of fun to play with. I feel like I'm gonna break the switch because I just like, I just like playing with the switch. Maybe I'll make one of those like weird ASMR videos and I'll just play with the switch. All right, let's tweak some knobs. I'm gonna give you a demo of how this pedal sounds both in front of the clean and the overdrive channel of the 5150.
So the Plumes has three clipping modes. The first is a symmetrical LED clipping. The second has no clipping, it's an op amp. And the third is an asymmetrical silicon diode clipping mode. Pronounce diode, stupid, fucking, asshole. So what does that mean in English? So the first mode, the symmetrical LED clipping mode, that's the most kind of crunchy, compressed, aggressive sounding out of the three, kind of like a Marshall-y type sound. The second mode with no clipping is essentially a clean boost. So basically that's gonna be used in front of an already overdriven amp to boost your signal. And the third one, the asymmetrical silicon on diode clipping mode. Pronounce diode, stupid, fucking, asshole. To me is most like the Tube Screamer style sound. It's much more open. It's not as compressed as the first clipping mode. Um, and it's quite pleasing. One last thing I wanna say about the controls of this pedal is that the tone knob is probably one of the most usable tones I've ever heard on an overdrive pedal. What I mean by that is as you sweep across from zero all the way to 10 of this tone control, you get a lot of variety of tone from this pedal. All right, my final thoughts on the Earthquaker Devices Plumes. If you're looking for a new overdrive or you're just getting to the overdrive game, this is a really good one to get for a variety of reasons. The first reason is that it's not that expensive. Relatively speaking, this is a great buy. Secondly, you have a lot of flexibility in terms of tone with the three modes. The first and the third mode are similar. They have sort of that classic overdrive sound, at least to me. Mode one is a bit more compressed. It's a bit more aggressive. It's a bit louder. Mode three is not compressed. It's a bit more open. It breathes a bit more, but it has less output. And mode two is essentially a clean boost. So you're getting a clean boost built within this overdrive overdrive pedal. If you're using this pedal as a boost in front of an overdriven amp, all three modes are quite usable. They sound very similar to me. Uh, the differences between them are subtle, but they're all great. If you're using this pedal as an overdrive in front of a clean channel to break up that clean channel, again, all three modes are great. They're very usable. They all sound a bit different. They all have their own flavor. And with the flexibility of this tone knob, I'm sure you will find a tone within this pedal that will be pleasing and work for you. All right, everybody, that is it. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you found this helpful or informative or useful in some way. If you haven't subscribed already and you like these kind of videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. Thank you for your support. Let's keep this channel growing. And remember, stay safe and stay heavy. Peace.